Wireshark is a free packet capture program, and you can get it at wireshark.org. And once you download and install it, then you'll see this dashboard when you go ahead and open it up, and you'll go to the wireless network card and pick that, which I've done here, and then go up to capture and choose start. Now, while it's capturing data, it's capturing all Wi-Fi data only because that's the only network card that I picked. Now, I'm remoted in using a remote desktop into this computer that I have Wireshark installed. So you see a lot of RDP, UDP type packets because that stands for remote desktop packets. You might also see some other packets every now and then that are going out to, say, Microsoft and taking a look at some things and might also be going to Wireshark.org and other places like that. Now, take a look if I open up a command prompt. And when I do that, I'm going to ping 8.8.8.8. And that is Google's DNS server. Now, I'm going to minimize this. And take a look, you're going to start seeing some ICMP packets. There they are. You start seeing them flashing across the screen. I'm going to stop the capture temporarily. And here you can see we can go ahead and sort by various different things, such as protocol. So here's TCP protocol. Here's using RDP, UDP protocol. And here we can see ICMP. ICMP are the type of packets you use for ping. So we can see that the source, which is the 122 computer, which is the computer I'm on, and the destination is 8.8.8.8. .8 and then the response back, we can see the reverse happening. Here are also some other types of packets. You can see that there's DNS. That's doing resolution, DNS name resolution. And when I click on these, you can see hexadecimal down here. This is the hexadecimal code. And as I hover over it with my mouse, you can see, for instance, that this hexadecimal code stands for the letter W. Then we can see the Z and other things like that. I want to scroll down. And here you can see the protocol TLS version 1.2. So what that's telling me is I'm creating SSL traffic. This is 1.2, which has been renamed to Transport Layer Security, or TLS, between my computer that I'm connecting from, which is the computer I'm recording on, and the computer I'm connecting to, which is running Wireshark on Wi-Fi. I'm going to open up Web Browser. And we should now see that traffic as well as soon as I go back in to start the capture. So I'll go and click Capture, Start, and I'll choose to continue without saving. So it's going to start all over again. And now I'm going to go up. And I'll just click on a website. We'll say we're going to Amazon. I'll minimize. And now we're starting to see a lot of different traffic going on with our web browser, going to Amazon, and a local computer. And at any point, you can stop and analyze that particular traffic to see what's going on. So why is this important? It's important because it'll tell us where this particular Wi-Fi access traffic is going and where it's coming from. So if we suspect that there's a virus on the computer or we suspect that there's other malicious types of software running where maybe they're going out to a website that we don't really want them to go to, or accessing a server they shouldn't be accessing. We can tell all this information on Wi-Fi as well as wired networks. And we can sort by time, we can sort by source and destination, and we can sort by protocol length and information as well. So it's a great troubleshooting tool, both to see if there's anything malicious happening, as well as just confirming that things are working as expected. Wireshark has a lot of uses. For wireless, it's a tool for inspecting Wi-Fi packet flow information. 